Hey guys, it's Mikkel. I know it's been it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. We're back. We're welcome back to Unfiltered with Mikkel, episode number two. All right, all right. Let's 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 chit chat. Let's talk. Let's let's do it. So pretty much, like first of all, um, I have some announcements. Thank you guys for getting me to five stars on Spotify. Literally, like, within, like, the first week or so, the podcast had a five-star rating. Like, you guys, first of all, I can't even tell you guys enough how much I appreciate you guys listening to the podcast. Like, just seeing, like, how much, like, you guys, like, are just... In, intrigued I don't know I don't know what it, how to, I don't know how to describe it just like you guys are really like intrigued on like wow Mikel Mikel's a cool good, cool dude you know what I mean he got some cool ideas like the fact that you guys wanted to listen to me for like this long is kind of like okay and people actually listen to the whole podcast like the whole thing like I this week people have been asking me questions about it and stuff and like I've been getting so much love about the podcast and how much everybody loves the podcast. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for that five-star rating. And then I remember, like, I got Pacific compliments. I remember. So one person had told me, they said that they weren't very much interested in podcasts until they listened to my podcast. And I was like, aw. And then they were like, we can't wait for the second episode to come out. Super excited. And it was just, like, really nice. Someone else said that, like, just the way I formulated my title made them feel very much comfortable. And it felt like a safe space, you know, just being unfiltered and just being, like, you know, just, like, if you understand it, that's all that matters. Because that's really the premise of this, what this podcast is about. I thought that was very sweet. And then, like, people were just raving on, like, how um, good of a speaker I was. And how like pretty much they were just like, Mikkel, this is gonna be this is gonna be a scary podcast because it's like you're really good at this, and I was like, I know, I know, and like it's kind of scary how good I am at this, because like I could I could tell I could I could even tell I was gonna be good at it after listening to the first episode. I was like, okay, yeah, this is gonna be scary because like this was a really good episode, and it definitely left me wanting to listen to more. So this episode might be a little longer or whatever just because of that fact. Like, you know, just chit-chatting. Just chit-chatting. So pretty much, let's start by just, like, going over, like, what's been going on in my life. So what's today? Thursday? This is a Thursday afternoon podcast. Literally, I should have been recorded this. This should have been recorded on a Monday. But, you know, we're, we're recording it now. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I'm recording it now. We were able to get so much stuff done this week. We're on spring break officially. It is officially spring break season. We will be outside tomorrow. So that'll be exciting. But we're outside. Like, literally, it's spring break. Ah. How did um, midterms go? Midterms went well. Midterms went really well. Can't really complain. We got mostly everything done that we needed to get done. Like, everything... As far as, like, you know, assignments turned in. Yeah, everything is good. Everything's in the books. We're good. We're good. Um, So school is covered, which is good. It's definitely, you know, you get you get a good feeling when your, like, classes are covered. Just being, just being like, a, up to date with your work in general. You get, a, like, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's for you guys, but, like, with me, like, school kind of dictates my mood. So if I'm doing well in school, then I'm in a good mood. And if I'm doing bad in school, then I'm probably not going to be in the, like, I'm not going to be the the happiest camper. You know what I mean? Probably going to be the happiest camper. So school definitely is going well. And then, like, I just want to talk about, like, family and stuff. Family, mm, it could be better. It could be better. Pretty much the thing with family is, like, I what I've noticed is I'm missing a lot of events. And not purposely, but more of just, like, being in my own life, you know, with college and stuff. And I don't want to make any excuses, but, like, you know, when you're when you're doing college slash work, 
And on top of that, in my case, I'm an influencer on Instagram and then also doing YouTube and now a podcast. It's a lot of avenues where it's like you could really get lost in the sauce. You know what I mean? So you're getting lost in the sauce. You got all these things going on that like sometimes you just lose. You literally I named like five things and those five things. Not once that I named my family. So it's like it's just a given that you fall in, you fall out of touch with people. And it, it's not perfect. And I know you guys can probably relate. Like, you know, it's not, it's literally nothing personal. And I really hope our family members just like know that it's nothing personal. Like we just really be in our own lives when we're like on this journey. But yeah, that's pretty much like how the week's been going as far as like, just trying to keep on top. I called my grandmother. I think I called my grandmother. I want to say, mm, today, today's, today's Thursday. I want to say I called her last Sunday. Sunday or Monday and we spoke and you know she got on my case but it was okay because you know we talked about it you know we squashed it so I should be seeing her soon and that should be fun you know hang out with grandma during spring break type type vibe you know what I mean so but yeah that's definitely a major key is always check up on your family guys for sure for sure because if you don't and they're going to press you out and they're going to be like, where you been? Da, 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 da. You don't call us. This and the third. But I mean, you could clap back and be like, you don't call me. But, you know, we're not trying to even get into all that. Just, you know, always keep your family in your heart. Tight beat. And, you know, everything should be going well. All right. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. So pretty much today I want to talk about just like, just, just like with this new podcast, right? Something I'm learning is, like, having ideas. Like, the first episode was, like, pretty, you know, straightforward. We're going to talk about the podcast. It's going to be cool, cool, cool. Nothing nothing too, nothing too difficult, right? But then with episode two, having that five-star rating kind of put a lot of pressure on, like, you, you know, like, like a follow-up kind of podcast. Like, I was really nervous as far as, like, how my follow-up podcast would go from episode one just being so well like orchestrated i was like how am i gonna do this this is so exciting this is so scary i'm like super nervous like omg type type beat so at, at that point it was just like you know what Mikel, just just do it just go right into it just start recording you know figure it out we'll figure the rest out later we're doing this together you know what i mean but yeah so today i just want to play a game with you guys because I literally could not think of any topics, so I was like, let's just play a game. Let's just play a game today, type beat. So today we're going to be playing Would You Rather... So I asked you guys on my Instagram at Mikkel16 underscore to send me questions that I'll be answering on the podcast. You guys sent me a lot of great questions, like so many questions. I got over over 50 questions and I could I could only narrow it down to like I think like 20 I want to say I don't know but I narrowed it down as best as could as best as I could so let's get right into it so the first question someone asked me would you rather date an experienced girl or a virgin um <laughs> Would I rather date an experienced girl or a virgin? Honestly, I don't think that matters. I feel like, you know, the person matters more than, like, the things they've done in their past or haven't done yet. I just feel like the person matters more, you know what I mean? Like, me, I'm a guy, you know, and, like, yeah, you know, it'd be nice to be with someone experienced, but, like, honestly... I would say if I had to really pick between like an experienced girl and a virgin, I'd probably pick the experienced girl. All right, next question. So would you rather lose the ability to lie or believe everything you're told? Lose the ability to lie or believe everything you're told. Honestly... I'd rather believe everything I'm told because 
to not be able to lie is like so hard because then it's like you know i don't say you know many people i lie to in a day but i don't know i just don't feel like everybody should know everything you're thinking you know what i mean like i feel like a little bit of mystery never hurt nobody personally like i feel like you should never let everybody like know every single thing you're thinking at any moment notice like no no that's too much like you shouldn't you should not know everything and if someone were to ask you like hey are you doing such and such and you can't lie to them oh my boy you better be like you're gonna be the perfect person and there's no such thing as a perfect person but if you can't lie you what and you know how straight up you would be with everybody just a straight up person like that if you don't if you're not able to lie you're just one straight up gangster like that's some gangster ass stuff and like i mean i don't know man i don't i don't need people knowing everything going on in my head because then like i no way ain't no way boy y'all just believe everything i'm told i don't care ignorance is bliss in my book i feel like you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger so like honestly i don't need to know everything like i'll just believe it if you say it's true then it must be true like i'm the kind of person that like if i ask you a question right and i'm like hey so what um how many cows how many cows are in the um, in the farm and like why do they produce milk and you could be like they produce milk because they eat water and they um drink grass and because you answered that question i'm gonna believe you you know what i mean but don't tell me i don't know i hate when people tell me i don't know when i ask them a question like just just make something up just make something up i don't need you to really give me like a factual answer i'm not gonna argue you went on it i'm just gonna i just want to I just, I, I'm constantly asking questions throughout the day. And, you know, if you're around me, just answer it with something. Just answer something back. But if you tell me I don't know, then it's just going to leave, leave me more, more confused. But yeah, next question. Would you rather fart disrespectfully every time you leave a room or OD burp in every conversation? I think gastro reflexes are gross either or in like public settings i used to know this guy used to fart everywhere like this man was so gross he would fart in class and we would all just look at him like hey yo did you just do that did you just do that right now like are you kidding me <laughs> so honestly i'd probably just burp every in every conversation and i'd be like rick rick from rick and morty just always burping like yeah morty <clears throat> yeah morty yeah i think <clears throat> I think we should make an experiment, Morty. Yeah, I would definitely pick the burping in every conversation over the disrespectfully farting until I leave a room. Because then, you, you, then, then you're stuck. You're stuck everywhere. You cannot leave any conversation. You can't leave any board meeting. You have to sit there until the meeting is over so that everyone doesn't look at you with disgust. So yeah, definitely burping every conversation. Next question. This question wasn't a would you rather question, but honestly, I don't mind answering it. The question was, what are your kinks? What are my kinks? You guys are going to think I'm weird. You guys are going to think I'm weird. I don't know what it is, but something about a girl with short hair, boy, it, it, it does it for me. It really does it for me. Something about a girl with a low cut hair. You know, like little, little, little curlies, little curlies in the hair. It really, it really does it for me. And that, I would probably say that is a kink. And what else I could probably say is a kink? I don't know. Just a girl that like knows herself and like, you know, knows her body. She's not really like real like, oh, I'm not really sure about this type type thing, you know? Like, just like a confident girl. The girl with confidence is really like, you know, that's kind of kinky. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just that. Low cuts and confidence. Yeah, those two. Those two. All right. Another thing. What did I say? 
Uh, do I want to? Do I really want to get into details on another kink? The third kink. We're adults. We're adults. Someone that knows how to give oral. But yeah, we're adults. Next question: Would you rather have a gas car or electric? Um, for this question, right now the state of the world. So let me give you guys a rundown. So right now, if you guys don't drive, gas is expensive AF, right? So all the people with Teslas and electric vehicles or hybrids, they're they're like looking at people that solely depend on gas and they're like, we we knew this was coming. Elon knew this was coming. You know what I mean? So like all the people with these electric vehicles are like laughing at us gas guzzlers because it's like we're out here making memes on memes on memes of just like people going to jail for like hacking gas stations like it's really bad out here right now so it's like honestly would i rather drive a gas or electric car i'm going electric like we're going to the future man because like right now this gas stuff is not the move like i think last week i spent 50 dollars filling up my car that back in the day it used to take 20 dollars easily 2021 20, at most at most. So yeah, f- spending $50 at the tank is crazy. Next question. Someone asked me, would I rather get rid of Christmas or Thanksgiving? See, these are the kind of questions I don't like to answer because both of them have very significant meanings in my life, right? Like Christmas is like a, just a time for everyone to come together and enjoy one another and give gifts and just give you know things to show why they love one another you know what i mean and then thanksgiving is like the time where like we all come together to eat and enjoy and just chop you know and just just enjoy one another as well if i had to get rid of one damn if i had to get rid of one damn because i like thanksgiving because like it gives you guys a like it's like a fall break it's like a fall little break right before you know christmas break so it's like you need thanksgiving you need thanksgiving do we christmas ah but christmas is like the build up christmas is like that thing it's magical fairylands but the thing about it is like do you guys get this feeling that like after christmas is over like when it's the 26th it's like dang like we got to wait a whole another year for this like ain't no way boy like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I would get rid of Christmas. I would get rid of Christmas. I would get rid of Christmas because of the financial burdens that, like, some people can't really afford to give gifts. So, like, honestly, like, which one causes more happiness? I would say Thanksgiving definitely brings families together a lot more than Christmas does. So, I'll say Thanksgiving. I would keep Thanksgiving and I would get rid of Christmas. Next question would you rather wear yellow the rest of your life or wear the same shoes every day? I would wear the same shoes every day. Well, let me tell you guys why. Because to wear the same color, you're crazy. Like, in your lifetime, you will literally have so many different styles. Like, right now, I'm in, like, the comfortable wear, you know, cargo pant type beat not really trying to wear like a suit and tie for real for real even though i can clean up i can clean up nicely check my instagram i can clean up nicely but right now we're kind of just wearing what makes me comfortable type you know vibe so definitely gotta wear the same shoes because to have to wear yellow for the rest of your life you're crazy so yeah i'm going with the shoes you can skip me on the outfit next question would you rather live in a townhouse or a regular traditional house? All right, so with this question, it's kind of like I've lived in both scenarios. So this one's definitely close to home. Um, I would say I lived in a regular house for almost 16 years. We lived in a pretty decent house, three car garage type vibe or whatever. And now currently we live in a town home. But I would say it all depends on your lifestyle for referral. Like if you have... At the time when we moved into that house, we were all pretty young. So, like, we needed a house. You know what I mean? We needed 
a house where, you know, everyone had their own room, everybody had their own space, but there was also space to roam, run around, just cause mischief, just, you know, be young kids. You were three boys. You needed a big space. You know what I mean? Whereas now we're all pretty much adults. So that like, it's kind of like a sense where it's like, we all have our own space, but like, we don't need a lot of space. You know, it's kind of like a New York type style of house where it's like everybody's in their room and then we have the common area, of course, but it's like everybody has their own space, which is nice, but it's not like a, or running up and down the stairs. We need a big living room to run around the living room. You know, we need toys everywhere type B. It's more of just like a, everybody has their own room. Everybody goes to their room. We mind around each other's business. So no one's in each other's business. So definitely a townhouse. And then just clean up. Clean up is a lot easier in a townhouse. Like when I used to have a regular house, I would be the primary cleaner. So like it would take me at least a day. If you want to clean the whole house, yo, everybody's room is big AF. Literally the hallway, there was a hallway in our house that like, who who do you know has a hallway in their house? Like that's how big the house was. The living room was like the size of like a like a king size bedroom and like we had like this big foyer and then like there was also like a guest side bedroom living room type situation and there was a, there was an office the office had to be cleaned then the kitchen was big as a crap you know so everything was just big af so like just having all that space was just like all oh, this space oh my gosh it was just a lot to clean it was a whole lot of whole lot of and it was just me doing it you know my brothers weren't the biggest cleaners so like Someone had to do it, and I'm a Virgo, so I, I like clean spaces. So it was just everything fell upon me. I was like the living maid, you know. So yeah, definitely living now in a townhouse. Nah, man, it's night and day. I cannot be in no big house. I live that life. I love my townhouse. It's not much to clean, which I love. I love it that way. So yeah, definitely, I would pick the townhouse. Next question: Would you rather know? when you're going to die or how you're going to die and with this question we cannot answer it on this podcast unfortunately guys because we don't wish death on anyone so yeah we're not going to answer that one but yeah next question would you rather have super strength or invisibility i would say for this question um super strength because i want to be the big guy you know what i mean I want to be the kind of guy where, you know, if if we have to get in a fight, you know, you don't want to fuck with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want to fuck with me. Like, like, I'm the kind of guy that, like, goes out of his way and picks fights because I know I'm the big guy. I'm the big guy. Like, I got big shoulders, all that. So, yeah, definitely super strength is a key. Invisibility is cool. You know, you can sneak into rooms, but, like, you can't turn other things invisible. So, like... If your if your idea of like oh I'm gonna be invisible and I'm gonna steal, I'm gonna steal items. I'm gonna walk out of Best Buy with a TV. I can see the TV moving, so all I have to do is like block your way of leaving. So like with strength, I'm the big guy. I'm gonna steal the TV, and then I'm gonna push you out of my way, and I'm gonna and I'm well, you're not gonna do anything about it. You're gonna lock me up. I'm gonna break my way out of jail. I'm gonna break the bars. There's nothing you can do to me because I have super strength. Whereas invisibility, you're just some flimsy, some flimsy chameleon. I'm, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you flimsy chameleon. You think you can turn invisible? I'll just throw some dust on you. Boom. You're not invisible anymore. So yeah, definitely super strength. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Someone said, because you're vegan, would you rather eat only fruits for a year vegetables for a year well i think it's first of all i think it's really sweet that you know i'm vegan like oh my gosh like oh my gosh you know (laughs) who told you that but nah seriously uh i've thought about this and i did a lot of thinking about this question in particular because you know fruits or vegetables i don't know i don't know um for a year if i had to eat one for a year i would probably go with fruits because vegetables are cool and everything but like Fruits was really, like, my vegan journey. Like, really, like, on, like, started my vegan journey. Because, like, I remember when I first started being vegan, we had this blender. And, like, literally, I hate eating fruit. But when I tell you, putting fruit in a blender, I, can, I like, literally, I love fruit now. 
I hate eating it, but I love making smoothies and like different like kind of like drink assortments with my blender. You know what I mean? Because like I'm a busy guy. I don't have time to chew a mango. I don't have time to devour a banana. I don't have time to eat. I don't know. Uh, what else do I eat? I don't have time to sit around and eat strawberries. I'm not a, I'm not a rabbit, right? I'm not a rabbit. So I'm not going to just sit there and just eat a bunch of strawberries like some rabbit. But I do love drinking smoothies. Smoothies are literally... All right, let me put you on some game, right? <laughs> put you on some game. If you eat pineapples, your semen will taste good. Don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> if you eat pineapples, yeah, your semen will taste good. Plus, if you eat pineapples... Your pum pum will also taste good. So fruit is literally essential to life if you want good tasting pum pum or semen. Don't at me, but yeah. So, and then sex drive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you eat fruit, you can go five rounds and that's like, that's clinically proven. Don't ask me how, but you can definitely go five rounds if you eat fruits. Vegetables, I don't know. But fruits, like literally, after a smoothie, boy. Next question. Next question. Would you rather wear jeans for the rest of your life or cargo pants? For that question, I want to say, I I do like a nice pair of jeans. I have these one Calvin Klein jeans that make my booty look juicy. And like, not in like a, a homo way. But like more of like a um just like a just like a you know you know you see a you see a juicy butt, you know, you see a juicy butt, you see a juicy butt, you know what I mean? So definitely jeans are cool. Jeans are cool, but I don't know, cargoes really do it for me because like you got there's so much all right, let's we all right, one second. Cargo pants are literally the tier top tier of pants right now in the world, right? Everybody wants to have cargo pants. Everybody wants to look good in cargo pants because you can dress cargo pants up. You can dress them down. And it's just one of those things where it's like a nice cargo pants with like a dunk and then like a nice graphic hoodie. You're swag, right? So I'm going with cargo pants, but it was def- this was definitely a hard one. This was definitely a hard one. Cargo pants, cargo pants for the win. Cargo pants for the win. Next question. Would you rather... Stop doing YouTube or stop doing podcasts. Whoa, this just got deep. Do y'all feel the suspense right now? Honestly, both have been really good to me. And when I when I added this question and when I saw the person who sent me this question, I was like, dang, why they had to go and ask me that? You know, I'm, I'm right in the middle of both and I'm really enjoying both. Like, the podcast is, like, my baby, and the YouTube channel is, like, my child. You know what I mean? Like, the, the podcast is, like, a I have a two-month-old. Well, the podcast ain't two-month-old. The podcast has been, like, what? It's been, like, nine days? I have a nine-day-old child, and I also have a three-month-old. Well, no, my, my YouTube channel is, like, ah, I want to say, like, six-month-old. I have a six-month-old, so it's not even a year. I have a six-month-old, and I have a nine-day-old kid. So I have two kids, Right? You're asking me what kid do I love more? This is a tough question. Um, if I had to pick, though, I just got to go with who I've known longer. So I got to go with the YouTube channel. I would rather keep the YouTube channel and stop the podcasting. Damn, that was tough. We're going to keep podcasting, though. So, yeah. Next question. Would you rather eat pie pies, chicken sandwiches, or Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich for the rest of your life? Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for the win. Popeyes don't add me. Would you rather be rich or just famous? Be rich or just famous? Um, I would rather be rich. Let me explain why. So when you're rich or whatever, you can just afford yourself a lifestyle of just like just the better things. You know, you can. And then to not be famous, this is literally the, the ideal life. Like, this was a no-brainer. I'd rather be rich. Because, like, what is fame? You know, like, oh, you know, yeah, I left a mark on the world. Oh, cool. I'm famous. I'm known in the books type beat. But to be rich, 
this is generational wealth we're talking about here, guys. This is like my kids' kids will have money. I can't pass that up. I can't pass that opportunity up. So yeah, definitely being rich is like major key. Next question. Would you rather eat only sweet foods or only salty foods for the rest of your life? This kind of goes to saying with like the fruits and like the um the vegetables. I don't know. I I have a sweet tooth at heart. You know, my mom had a sweet tooth. Her favorite food was like ice cream and cookies with like a little bit of like a hot fudge on top, you know. She wasn't diabetic, but <laughs> she really loved her sweets. So, um and I and it just passed down to me, fortunately. I love dark chocolate. We both love dark chocolate. So to get rid of sweet food is definitely a tough, tough thing. But I do love me like a good salad, a good potatoes, a good potato salad. Dang, dang, dang. Um for life, for the rest of your life, I had to give up one sweet or salty food. I would have to give up salty food because, like, I don't know, like, to be able to eat a good ice cream, because there's just too much nostalgia. Like, I have too many good memories with sweet food to just give it up. So, yeah, definitely salty food. You can miss me on that. I think at least with sweet food, you can eat cereal because cereal's sweet. So, yeah. Would you rather live on this planet or live on another planet that has life? Um... I'd rather live on this planet. I don't want to live somewhere that has life because I don't know if that life knows me. It's like living in like China or something. Like you don't want to live in China. Yeah, you know, China's cool and like the idea of China's cool, but like you speak Chinese? I didn't think so. So yeah, I'd rather live on this planet in the best state in the world, America. Don't, don't at me. Don't at me on that one. Don't at me. Would you rather get rid of music or television? I would probably get rid of television because music is like literally a part of my life. Like literally, um, without music, there is no me. Like literally, what what would we what would we listen to in the car? I mean, you listen to my podcast, of course. That's pretty cool. But music, man, music, music with festivals, Tyler the Creator, just like. Music just conveys a feeling of emotion. Like, it, it really is the thing that ties us all together as human beings. We all love music. So, yeah, I have to keep music. I'd literally be doing a disjustice to the world if I got rid of music. Television, yeah, you'd be okay. Just go outside. Play. Play around. Play with a ball or something. I don't know. Next question. Would you rather live in Maryland forever or leave Maryland and never be able to come back? I would rather live in Maryland forever. Let me tell you why. Maryland is what I know. It's what I'm familiar with. It's what I'm comfortable with. I don't want to... I don't... You know, I like I like my bubble. I like my bubble. And I don't want to think of Maryland like a bubble because there's so much of Maryland I haven't even seen yet. So honestly, you know, yeah, just live in Maryland forever. Honestly. I'll just travel. Travel. You know? Just travel. Fly. Take Take spirit. If you guys like spirit, some people like Southwest, you know, it's a little bit more, more pricey, but, you know, just travel. Yeah. Next question. Would you rather have a child right now or never be able to have children? <laughs> okay. Um, these are definitely good questions, people, first and foremost. Um, for that one, I will have to say I would rather have a child right now because, yeah, I'm not financially ready for a child, but to never, ever have children, I literally, all right, no one knows this about me, right? So my mom passed away when I was 17, right? And ever since then or whatever, there's been like this void in my life. Like there's like a part of me left when she left, right? Yes, I have the memories and I'm in, I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place, guys. But there there is a definitely a big part of me that is like been gone and may never come back till we meet on the other side. We'll talk about that in a future episode. But as far as that void being there, I really... I really, and no one knows this about me, 
I really want to have kids. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm just, I wonder if I will see glimpses of them, like glimpses of my mom and them, you know, like I really want to see like, it's like, say I have a daughter, right? And, like, she has, like, her tricks that, like, her grandmother had. Man, that would literally be, like, the... That would be, like, one of those things where it's... You know, it's it's hard to, it's hard to put words to how... How much that would mean to me. To, like, be able to be, like, oh, I see glimpses of, like, your grandmother and you type thing. Like, or, like, what if they look like my mom? Oh, my gosh. What? What? You know what I mean? And like just like passing on that lineal that lin that lining that lining that lining ijidge lining lining ijidge lining 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 ijidge that word you know the word just passing on my lineage to like the next generation I just feel like you know I've always wanted like a little mini me like a little mini me Mikel or like you know a little mini me what what would be the girl version of my name Michelle a little mini me Michelle or a little mini me Mikel. I've always wanted that. I wanted like a little buddy, you know, and I feel like I'd be a great dad and, you know, it would be, it would definitely be hard, but to not have any children at all. Nah, I couldn't. I feel like that'd be too lonely. And then I, you guys know, I want to see like, you know, I want to see if they have like those similarities as my mom. So next question, would I rather someone see all the photos in my phone or read all my text messages. Um, I would say I'd rather someone read all my text messages because my photos. Uh, I got some weird pictures in there. I got some really funny pictures in there, and like some pictures I probably wouldn't want people to see. Tight beat. I don't know. <laughs> there's no like, there's no nudes in my phone, but like, I don't know. I just don't want people in my pictures. Like, hey yo. And there's like videos in there that like are unreleased YouTube videos and stuff. And I'm really big on like gatekeeping. Like I don't post y'all y'all see my Instagram. There's so many pictures on my phone that are like unreleased, like 4K pictures. And if I put on Instagram right now, my Instagram would probably have like a million followers after this podcast is released. Because I I just feel like the world isn't ready for those kind of pictures. So like I just sit on them. I sit on them and I wait. I just wait for the time is right. That's why I really don't post that much because I'm just like, the time isn't right yet. We have to wait. We have to be patient. It's coming. So yeah, definitely you can go through my texts. I don't really be texting for real, for real. So yeah, nothing really goes on in text. I really be FaceTiming for real, for real. FaceTiming is where like, you know, if you want to talk to Mikkel, just call me. But yeah, as far as text goes, it's whatever. You can read my text. Next question. Would you rather be able to talk with animals or speak all foreign languages i would say speak all foreign languages just because like how much of a flex is that you know like you can go to germany you could go to france you could go to italy and you could speak their language you know how freaking how freaking days they would be They'd be like what the fuck like literally if like if i'm an italian man and another black man comes up to me and he's speaking italian i'm like who the fuck are you? You know, like, like, hey, yo, like, hey, yo, in like an Italian accent. And that's my Mario accent. But I would be like so shook. Or like if I was like a black guy speaking Japanese, like, orashit, gato, you know what I mean? And I'm an Asian man. I see that. I'm like, hey, hey, yo, like you speak Japanese? Ain't no way. So like just, just being able to speak all four languages, the world is your pearl. You can literally go anywhere in the world and you're good. So yeah, definitely all foreign languages. If you had to get rid of one, would you get rid of pancakes or waffles? I would probably get rid of pancakes. Let me explain. So like growing up, pancakes were like a high commodity kind of item. Like we always ate pancakes. We had the kind of pancakes where you, where you, you, you guys know, the pancakes where you put them in the freezer they're already pre-made. You put them in the microwave. You just heat them up. Like two minutes, one minute type beat. And then you're good to go. Whereas like waffles or whatever. Waffles to me, I just feel like they're more of like a delicacy. Like waffles are one of those things where it's like a good Belgium waffle. We're good to go. You know what I mean? 
Like, we didn't have a waffle maker growing up. And I just bought a toaster recently. So, like, I've been making hella waffles from Costco. So, clearly, I, I'm a, it's a biased kind of question. So, waffles for the win. Because, like, who doesn't like waffles? Like, literally, when you go to hotels and they're like, we have breakfast. What is down there? They have a waffle maker. They have the little batter. They have the little waffle. You make your waffle. Make, like, three waffles. You're good to go. You're good for the day. You can go out on vacation and you're like, we don't have to eat till dinner because I had those four waffles in the morning at the at the air, not Airbnb, but what is it? What is it? What is it called? The day in the day in. I don't think that's what the hotel is called. I haven't been to a hotel in a while, but whatever the hotel is called, we had breakfast there. So, yeah, definitely waffles. I'm going for the win. Next question. Would you rather go in the past like 2010s or go to the future like 2030s? And for that question, I would have to say go in the future 2030s because I already know if I go in the past, I'm going to change so much. And literally, I love my life and I'm I'm the kind of person that feels like everything happens for a reason. So why not just fast forward, you know, 2030s, I'm a successful billionaire, philanthropist, that man kind of guy, you know, fast forward to that because I have to go back and redo my 2010s oh my gosh i was i was not a cool well i was cool i was cool let me <laughs> i was cool back then but like i don't know i just have to go back through puberty again have to go back through high school again i would do so many things different i would do so many things different that like i don't even know what what the mikhail you guys would see right now would be so i don't even want to imagine that so I'd rather just fast forward and see like, oh, you know, what's the, what am I, what, 2030, I'm what, I'm 20 now. So I'd probably be in 2030, 29. So yeah, 29s don't sound too bad. Next question. Would you rather shit your pants in public or kiss a random girl? I would rather kiss a random girl because shitting my pants in public that is gross that is so gross like the hell (laughs) like ain't no way like for me to for you to just sit there just think about this guys you just stand imagine you're you're standing and you're just shitting on yourself in public people are gonna smell that and then you're gonna have like this that weird walk imagine the poop in your in your pants and you're walking and you're trying to walk to like clean yourself up and you have to, like, make this weird, like, you know, when you were, like, a kid and you peed on yourself and you have, like, this weird, like, tippy-toe kind of walk back and forth because you don't like this, like, wet thing under your bottom. It's so gross. And, and, and think about this. Think about this. When girls go on their periods, right, and they're bleeding, you know how, like, awkward that must feel? I could even imagine. I could even imagine. Like, I really feel for the girls out here. Like, literally, our sisters out here. They have to go through that every month, guys. Every month. That is crazy AF. Like, I really feel for our sisters out here. Every month? You have to go through that? I could never. And, like, do you guys get that awkward feeling? Like, I'm probably going to have to talk to some girls after this podcast is over. Like, like, what does that feel like to just have, like, a bloody pad down there? Like, it's, ugh. I could never. I could never. Next question. <laughs> Would you rather be TikTok famous or YouTube famous? Well, clearly you guys know that answer. I'd rather be YouTube famous. Why in the world would I want to be TikTok famous? Literally, I don't understand TikTok, guys. I don't even have the app downloaded on my phone for real, for real. I think it is downloaded, but I don't even use TikTok and I will never use TikTok. The day you see me making TikToks, take my phone from me and send me to jail. Send me to jail because... I will not, I will not do it. I'm the kind of person, I'm like a rebel. Like if everybody's doing something, I do the opposite. So I I only want problems, no peace. I do not want to be TikTok famous. Nothing against people that are TikTok famous, but it's not my kind of beat. I like creating long videos for the masses and myself. So YouTube famous for the win. And then just being YouTube famous, there's like so many things that come with it. Like you, you're allotted so many opportunities yeah TikTok, tiktok famous has opportunities as well but like just from brand deals and like business side of things just to build like a community and then you're famous from it 
that's like top dog status. Like that's like Emma Chamberlain kind of status. That's like that's like billionaire type beat. These YouTubers out here are billionaires. There's billionaire YouTubers out here. So to be one of those, like the top percent, and it like imagine like it just comes effortless, you know? Like Emma Chamberlain, she just puts out videos. I know it's not effortless, but it just looks effortless, you know? It's one of those things where it's just like they just know how to make a good video. They got it down to like a science type type vibe. Like Kelly Stamps has it down to like a science type vibe. You know what I mean? So yeah, to de- definitely to be YouTube famous, I would definitely choose that over TikTok any day. Next question. Would you rather have kids, young or old? I would say old. Just because like to have kids young, I feel like I when I see young parents, I just feel so not bad for them, but like just the amount of respect I have for young parents, you know, it's like so, so much because like for, I'm 20, right? If I met another guy who was 20 and he had kids, I'm like, hey, yo, how do you do it? Because like, that's another that's a, that's another level of like responsibility and not even responsibility, but just like another level of like, sacrifice because your life no longer matters when you have a kid. That kid's life matters more than yours i feel like when you have a kid this is the first time where you put someone else's life before your own so because they didn't ask to be here you know what i mean so you have to like sacrifice and if you're going to be a deadbeat father don't have kids in the first place the hell so (laughs) i just got really i just got really serious but no like definitely if you're a young parent i could never and i commend you if you are and I would probably be an old parent because I just feel like I'd be more prepared, you know, I'd be more prepared, more seasoned, the kid would have a better life, things would be more smooth, you just wouldn't have to struggle, you wouldn't have to struggle, you're not saying that young parents don't have to struggle either, but you just, you know, the odds are higher when you're a younger parent to struggle, so yeah, I would definitely want to be an old parent for the win. Next question, would you rather be super sad and have everybody around you happy or super happy and have everybody around you be sad. I would rather be super happy and everyone around me be sad. Because why would I want to be super sad and everyone else around me be happy? I will not take on you guys' burden. No. I want to be happy. If you guys are sad, then just watch my happy life and hopefully you guys can feel happy from that. That should be enough. Because, like, no, you don't. Guys... Let me tell you guys something. Never put other people's sadness on yourself, right? So, like, if you have friends that are, like, sad and they're going through it or whatever, yes, be there for them, but don't let it become a thing where it's, like, they're always coming for you as, like, a trauma pillow, right? You're not a therapist. Nobody in here is a licensed therapist. I'm not a licensed therapist, I don't want to be a licensed therapist. No, I am busy. I have YouTube. I have podcasts. I'm a bio major. I am a busy man. So when people come at me and they're like, hey, you know, with their problems, I can't do it. I had an ex. I had an ex. And literally, she used to always have ish going on. Like this is like my freshman year of college. She used to always have like problems going on where it was like she needed money 24 seven or like just housing situation wasn't perfect or just like so many things. And like me at the time, I'm a freshman. There's only so much I can do to help. Right. So like literally just like having being in a relationship where your like partner isn't doing well just took such of a took just such a strain on myself. Right. Because it's like, I'm the kind of person I just want everybody around me in my life to be able to like, to be doing well. I want everybody to be prospering. I want everybody in my life to be prospering. No one to have struggles financially. This down the third. So to see that and like them being so close and tied to me, I can't have that. You know what I mean? Like I'm the kind of guy that like I can't be out here wearing Jordans and my girl's wearing Skechers, right? Like we both have to be wearing Jordans. So... To just see, like, you know, your significant other struggling, it was just, it was just, it was just such a burden where it's like, it kills your mood, you know what I mean? And you got to protect your peace, guys. I don't care what anybody says. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. There's no way to, there's no way to sway it. 
if you not on positivity, you got to go. If she say no, you got to go. Like, no, bruh. <laughs> like, no. Like, if you're not on positivity, I don't want to hear it. Like, no, because you're not going to come here and freaking transfer all your trauma onto me and expect me to make you feel better. You got to help yourself, buddy. You know what I'm saying? And I want all you guys to go out of this podcast knowing that, like, I will not be someone's trauma pillow. You're crazy. Now, if you have good news, by all means, like, what's going on? I want to hear about good news. I love good news. But, like, if you have bad news, you have nothing positive to talk about, or if you, like, this becomes, like, a repetitive kind of thing, I'm going to have to stop you there, buddy. You can go You can go get a therapist. You can go do that. Better help. This video is not sponsored. But better help is the best way to get free tutoring and best way to get free counseling at affordable price from your phone. This video is not sponsored, though. But definitely check out BetterHelp. If you're a college student, BetterHelp is free on financial aid. This video is not sponsored, but definitely go try BetterHelp. All right, next question. Would you rather have no taste or be colorblind? Kind of a... uh, I'm blind right now. I have very bad vision, but I have glasses, right? So I definitely know how it feels to not be able to see, right? However... To have no taste, I can't, I can't, I can't not have taste. I can't not have taste. I love key lime pie too much. I love smoothies too much. I love (laughs) that too much. But to not be able to taste any of those things, that is not a life I want to live. So I don't mind seeing a little bit of black and white. Or I don't know how colorblind works. You probably don't see like reds or blues the same as us, unfortunately. But yeah, to not have taste is a no bueno. So yeah, definitely I'd rather be colorblind. Next question. Would I rather die before my future wife or die after my future wife? Honestly, um... I don't want to answer this. I really don't because I don't want anyone to die. (laughs) I don't want anyone to die. I want my wife to live forever. I want to live forever. But if I had, if I had to do it, if I had to answer it, I really do not like death questions. I don't because it's like, I don't want to wish death upon anyone. I'm not going to answer this. I'm not going to answer this. Next question. Would you rather drink raw eggs or eat raw meat? I'd rather eat raw meat because the drink raw eggs, that's so gross. But like I could eat like some raw, some raw. What is it like? Isn't isn't tuna safe to eat raw? Let's fact check that. Let's look that up. Let's look that up. Is tuna, tuna safe? Is tuna safe to eat raw? Let's see what Google has to say. Because we're politically correct over here. Right, guys? Raw tuna is generally safe when properly handled in frozen, eliminated parasites. So when you freeze the tuna, it eliminates the parasites. So, yeah, I would eat raw tuna. So, yeah, technically, yeah, I'd eat raw tuna. Because a raw egg, you're crazy. The hell I look like? Next question. Would you rather be buried alive... Or drown. I don't think any of these scenarios would ever happen to me personally. So I'll answer this one. I'll answer this one. I'd rather drown than bury buried alive because being buried alive seems very scary, whereas drowning uh, seems a little quicker. Seems a little quicker. Definitely don't wish none of this upon me. But if I had to pick one, I would definitely drown before bury being buried alive. Because I don't know, I just, I'm, not, I'm a claustrophobic kind of guy, you know what I mean? So I'd rather fight the current and, you know, yeah, than have to, like, be squished to death. That would be weird. Next question. Would you rather have no books for the rest of your life or no social media? And with this question, I feel like you're, like, actively saying, would I rather be dumb or stupid? Not saying people with social media are stupid, but, like, 
to not have books books are like the 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 cutting like you know it's it's how we learn it's how we think it's how it's how people gather information through books yeah you know nowadays in this day and age you know people rely on social media for like their news and commentary and things like of that sort but books definitely i would rather just be book smart than social media smart cuz that's just it's night and day like why would i want to be social media smart where I, like all i know about is like oh Justin Timberlake just had a baby. I'm Justin Timberlake smart. Whereas, like, I'd rather know about, like, who won such and such war back in, like, the 1900s or something. Or, like, who was in the civil rights movement. Or who discovered the planet. Like, I want to know that kind of stuff. I don't want to know about Justin Timberlake's kids. Or, like, Drake's kids. I don't care about Drake's kids. No offense to Drake. But, yeah, like, I don't care. If I had to pick between, like, history or, like, social media. So, yeah, definitely I'd rather be book smart and have books for the rest of my life than social media. And and then social media is kind of toxic. Go go outside and kick a ball. Go kick a ball. Go play. Get off off your iPads. Get off your iPads. Don't get off podcasts, though. Listen to my podcast. But, yeah, go go play. Get off social media. Go, go, Go breathe some air or something. Next question. Would you rather save a boat on fire with a hundred babies or a boat on fire with the love of your life on it? This question is hard AF. We love babies on this podcast, right? I want to repeat that. We love babies on this podcast. We want babies to live forever. We want them to have nice, long, productive lives. We love babies on this podcast. However, if the love of my life is in jeopardy and I have to choose between babies or the love of my life, of my life, y'all know who I know what I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick the love of my life. And I know this is going to sound a little dark. It's going to sound a little like, you know, grim, like, oh, wow, you would just let a hundred babies die. I don't know them kids. Fuck them kids. Well, no. <laughs> well, you know, but you know what I mean. Like, no, those aren't. First of all, why are your babies on a burning boat? You need to be looking at your parents. Don't look at me. Like, yeah, I'll be sad about the babies, but no, like, I don't know them kids. I know the love of my life. I want to be happy. I want. I want to. We'll make new like, new kids. The, the planet is overpopulated anyway. But we're not gonna talk about that right now. We'll talk about that in another episode. <laughs> but. Yeah, like, no, I'm not going to save those kids. Those kids will be okay. Save them in my life. Because then, then why do I have to be sad for some kids I'll never meet in my life ever? Yeah, no. Saving the love of my life. Next question. Would you rather buy a hundred things? No, what, what did it say? Would you rather buy ten things you don't need or every time you go to the store or always forget the one thing you need when you go to the store. So I'm going to repeat the question. Would you rather buy 10 things you don't need every time you go to the store or always forget to buy the one thing you need from the store? So I would say I'd rather forget the one thing I need from the store because to buy 10 things I don't need every time I go to the store, I'm going to be a hoarder. I will be a hoarder. I will literally have a bunch of like loose things just filling my space. And like, I'm the kind of guy that like, I want a minimalist space. I want no clutter. I want no toys on the ground. I don't want a messy space. Cause I just feel like with a messy space, you can't, you can't get any work done. You can't think straight. It's just, it's just one big mess. No, I can't do that. Yeah, I, I couldn't. So yeah, I'd rather just always forget what I'm buying and then be like, oh, well, well, you know, I'll just try again next week. See if we'll remember what we need. Hopefully we remember. But I doubt I will because I chose to always get the wrong thing. But it's okay. Because just to just have a bunch of miscellaneous things in your house? No. It's crazy. All right, next question. Would you rather be extremely emotional or extremely emotionless? This question, I would say, Toxic Mikkel would say emotionless. However, I know Toxic Mikel isn't a healthy Mikel, 
So I feel like I'd rather be ugh, extremely emotional now. And I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with like an extremely emotional partner before. But when I tell you, oh my gosh, <laughs> it is so draining. It is like they're always on problems. They're always finding a reason to create drama. It's so draining, like literally. Uh, so to, to be a part of that problem, be an extremely emotional person. Oh my gosh. I would say I would say I'd rather be extremely emotional because I don't know. To be emotionless is very cold. It's a cold life to live and I'd rather be emotional than have this cold life for the rest of my life. So I would rather be extremely emotional and then just hope someone understands where my emotion comes from and like love me for it instead of just being this standoff person cuz I've also dealt with standoff people before. And that's also something you don't even want to deal with because it's like people won't let you in they won't express what's wrong with them they don't communicate and no communication is just so unhealthy for any relationship no communication is unhealthy period because without communication it's like people are just so misunderstood a lot of miscommunication and with miscommunication arguments can brew so just to deal with someone extremely emotional, yeah, you know, it's annoying, but you'll eventually I feel like you'll get used to it and you'll love them regardless, you know? So yeah, I'd rather be extremely emotional. Next question. Would you rather be unable to close a door once you open it or be unable to open any door once you close it? This question sounds like a riddle. This definitely sounds like a riddle. I don't know the pro or con of either or option to open a door and not be able to close it or open a door and not be able to close it. What? What? I would say I'd rather be able to open a door and unable to close it because to be able to close a door and unable to open it. What if I have to go back in my house? You know what I mean? What if I have to go back in my car? I got to go into these things. So, yeah, I'd just be able to open stuff, you know, just so I'm an independent person. Yeah. And, like, if people steal my stuff, then it wasn't meant for me to have it. So, yeah, I'd rather be able to open things and not be able to close it once it's open. Don't really know the pro or con to that. Just I had to answer the question. Would you rather, next question, fall in love with somebody you can't have or settle with somebody that you don't know. I would rather f- fall in love with somebody that I can't have. Because that way, I could just be this nice, hopeless romantic. I kind of had a situation like that back in middle school. Where like, I'm going to talk about that in another episode. But like, I'll just basically describe the person. I won't give their name. But there was this girl in middle school eighth grade year and your boy was head over heels head over heels for this girl literally wrote this girl a song wrote this girl a song literally threw this girl a surprise birthday party eighth grade year who do you know who who do you know throws somebody a birthday party at the school paid for everything got them a crown i was literally a hopeless romantic and i don't want to say they didn't give me the time of the day but they just weren't filling your boy at the time right and that's okay you know that's okay but definitely definitely had to take the l on that one for like and then there was so much i did that year we'll, we'll talk about it in another episode but just like hearing those two things alone that i wrote them a song and threw them a birthday party we'll talk about eighth grade mikhail and just like his love life and all his failures in middle school we'll talk about that in another episode but yeah just hearing those two things just goes to show you like mikhail is such a romantic guy like i had good building blocks of like how to be a good man I had good people in my life, good women in my life who I could go to 
and show me the way of how to be a good man to a good woman. You know what I mean? So I'd rather just fall in love with someone who I can't have and just live a life of just, you know, I'll just be the nice guy. Just be Mr. Nice Guy. Whereas to settle with somebody that I don't know, it sounds like like an arranged marriage. And like when I hear the word settle, I'm just like, I'm a Virgo. And I, I like with the Virgos, it don't take much for us to get annoyed. Like, you could just have an annoying voice or your, like, apartment could be, like, dirty or something. And, like, I'm turned off. I want to go. I'm not feeling this. No offense to you, but I'm just, yeah, it's not doing it for me, chief. So, it don't take much for me to, like, be turned off. So, like, if I had to, like, settle with someone that I'm turned off by and I don't even know them, yeah, I can get to know them. But, like, the fact that you hear the word settle, clearly you're not happy with the situation. So I'd rather just know that I met the love of my life and it is what it is. I'm going to always love them than just settle with some stranger. Next question. Would you rather give up happiness or give up peace for the rest of your life? Ooh, I would say I'd rather give up happiness because peace or whatever, to just always be stressed, like, is, like, not fun. Hmm, let me think. You don't want an easy, easy life, though. Let me change my answer. I'd rather give up peace than happiness. Because I feel like, as long as I'm happy, even if my life isn't perfect, the fact that I'm happy is, like, okay, cool. It goes back to when I said you got to put yourself first, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I would say I'd rather give up peace because, like, life ain't supposed to be peaches anyway. There's supposed to be some struggle in there. So if I have to struggle a little bit and, yeah, you know, it'd be nice to just have everything be peachy or whatever, that's fine. I'd rather just go through that with a smile than have to be sad but everything around me be fine. Like, everything's fine, but I'm just not happy. Like, no, I want to be a complete person. So, yeah, I would have to choose happiness than peace. Well, I had, I had to really, like, go back and think about that one. Like, that one was definitely one of those, like, wait like wait a minute, Mikael. Let's, let's, let's think about this for a second. Kind of questions. Yeah, I'd definitely rather be happy because happiness is key. I want, you guys to, I want you guys to leave this podcast knowing that your happiness comes first. All right? In life or whatever, life is going to be hard AF. So, like, you got to find a way to, you got to find reasons to smile, you know? You got to find reasons to just, like, be like, you know what? Today is going to be a good day. And nothing in this world is going to phase me for it not to be a good day. You know what I mean? And nobody in this world can phase me for today not to be a good day. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know what the future has in store for us, but whatever makes you happy, do that. Whoever makes you happy, be with them and let that be enough and just see where things go from there. You know, you're not someone's burden. Trust me. And don't ever feel like you don't deserve anything or you don't deserve what's best for you what you need and what you don't need in life and either you're gonna look at it and take it for what it is or you're gonna ignore it and make the same mistakes but this has been episode two literally guys another podcast in the books thank you guys for staying to the end of the podcast wherever you are I don't know if it's nighttime, but here right now, it's daylight savings. We still have so much daylight left. Like, literally, you cannot beat daylight savings. Daylight savings is, like, is, like, king. Daylight savings is king, easily. Because, like, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. This podcast is dropping soon. And thank you guys for listening to episode 2. Thank you for this 5-star rating. Thank you for supporting me through this journey. I might post last week's podcast on YouTube If you can, just play it out and then I can get watch hours from that 
or whatever and i can increase my watch hours i think i'm gonna start doing that like posting my last week's podcast every week on youtube so that i can get like more watch hours and stuff but yeah definitely follow me on youtube at m-i-k-k-e-l mikkel awanda a-w-a-n-d-a also follow me on instagram at mikkel m-i-k-k-e-l 16 underscore dm me if you have any questions or any thoughts on today's podcast literally we have two podcasts in the books two podcasts in the books this is crazy crazy f thank you guys for listening to the end i am mikkel i love you guys wherever you guys are just know mikkel loves you and he's thinking about you and i will see you guys next week monday for podcast number three i love you see you next week goodbye good night go do something we'll be outside tomorrow i love you goodbye